and he has more. Nick looks a little dark there. Yeah, Wes, I would say the PA has been playing lights out here, as you'll bet to see with those highlights. Now, look, every season opener is special in its own right, but it can't get much sweeter than PA facing Robinson to kick off the season. Six combined state championships between these teams over the last four years. Last year in this game, PA ran away with it in the end to beat Robinson in a high-scoring affair, but Robinson would go on to not lose a single game the rest of the season until falling to a eventual state champ Parkview PA of course going on to win the 6A state championship against Greenwood. So this is a very important test to kick off the season for each side. Let's see who would come out on top. As the Joker said, and here we go. High school football back in action. Razorbacks wide receiver great Anthony Lucas embarks on his third season as PA's head coach and his team starts as hot as the weather. First possession of the ball game when the Bruins reach into their bag of tricks. On the reverse pass, it's Williams Foboda going long and connecting with fellow wideout John Mark Charette, breaking a tackle and just can't stay on his feet. PA without starting quarterback Brandon Cobb tonight, but after moving from defensive back last week, Patton Wicker is making do. On the rollout, Wicker hits Mark Charette for the score. Two pointer no good, so it's 6 0 Bruins and PA's first of many onside kicks of the year is a good one. Bruins recover, but the Senators won't let this thing get ugly. On a fourth down attempt, Robinson comes up with a stop. Quentin Murphy and the Senators offense looking for life on their opening drive in the first. This burst is a nice start, but it leads to a three and out. PA back with the ball and looking to extend their lead. Charette starting his senior season with a bang on the screen, rolling through would-be tacklers and moving the chains. Wicker drops back, and this converted DB has an arm, chunking up the long ball, and on the other end, the grab and getting the foot down. Who else but John Mark Charette coming up with his second touchdown catch of the night? PA's two-point attempt is good, as Charlie Kotros floats it up to Charette as the Bruins finish the first quarter leading 14 to nothing. LPA would keep it up from there, extending their lead to 22 to 0 before half. Despite the stadium lights going out, stopping the game and slowing down Pulaski's momentum, the Bruins would refine that groove and run away with it, winning 37 to 13.